and then you get onto the set and he's talking to you and you know you read the lines and it's like him and then you just inevitably start talking like him um, and so it's this like it's a it's a it's an unwinnable process um, and then you do the scene and he's like that was not so funny. Um, and so you're like, oh shit, I, so you do it again. And he's like, and then I'm like, I, I feel like I sound like you. And he's like, you do, but it's not natural to you, so do it as yourself. So then you try doing it as yourself, and it's not funny, because it's written like him. So in this kind of thing, I'm just like, there's no way for me to perform this scene without sounding like him. And, but he's funnier than me, you know, so it, we would do, a pre we did a, like a press tour together, and he would always say, Jesse's a better actor than me, but I'm funnier than him. And so like, it was obvious. So, you know, so it's like kind of, there's like a no way, no way to do this kind of scene well. And, you know, anyway, so that's what I was thinking. I was like, there's no way to do this well, but she's very funny, you know, um, the actress is very funny. Yeah. Um, but I also thought about how much of yourself you channel in there, you know, because there's also, you know, obviously Woody Allen is a, is a, is a huge inspiration, but, you know, I, I felt in it that, like, the reason why you owned it like that is because you also understand the kind of pressures of anxiety. Yes, the difference is he, he's like, he's a little more kind of angry at a woman, you know, the, the, the woman, and I, <laughs> I'm like way too nervous around, um, I wouldn't, she wouldn't, I wouldn't call anybody in my house is the difference. <laughs> this also took place in the 20s. This is not a modern story yet. Um, and while we have the topic of Woody Allen, I, 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 I do want to talk a little bit about Woody Allen. Because tell us a little bit how this happened. Um, what was it like to be your idol for the first time? Okay, so when I was 16, I, somebody gave me a Woody Allen movie and it was like mind-blowing, you know, it was like I couldn't believe that somebody was making movies of this, this like kind of style, you know. And so I wrote a script about him at 16 that I thought I would film and I was in Every day at lunch in high school, I would be typing up my script, and everybody in the school knew, oh, Jesse's writing his Woody Allen movie. I don't think people knew who Woody Allen was. It was just, this was like the thing that I was known to be doing. And um, anyway, so um, I would, so anyway, then I had sent the script to somebody who sent it to somebody who sent it to somebody who sent it to his lawyer who sent me a letter saying, we're going to sue you. Um, <laughs> and my, I remember, so I was like 17 at that point, and my father knocked on my bedroom door and he's like, I have great news, we heard from Woody Allen. And I was like, that's amazing, what did he say? He's like, well, he's suing you. So, um, so my family was so proud of me for being sued by this famous person that we, we, we unfolded the letter and we framed it. And um, so, uh, so I have like a letter from Woody Allen's mean lawyer, um, this guy Loeb, Loeb, a Jewish guy, you know. And so, um, so we had this letter like in my bedroom and then I got to meet Woody Allen to be in a movie with him. He wanted me to you know, be in a movie with him. And um, he had no idea because, you know, he's, this happens to him probably all the time. So he didn't know and he's not interested in really uh, things like that. You know, he's not, oh, you know, so, he, um, so anyway, he didn't know anything. But so I get to the set and they say, and this is our producer, Mr. Loeb. I was like, oh. Oh hi! You know you were you were suing me. He had no he had no recollection either. So um, I realized I was like uh, you know kind of fly in their ear for a day, and it didn't matter. But in my life, it was like I had this rivalry with Woody Allen. How exciting! And, um, and uh, you know, and I just it was exciting to be in his movies. I was in two movies with him. Uh, uh, one was in Rome, and then this was in New York. And you know, I I like doing it, but to me, as like an acting role, it's not like. He, you know, he'll, he'll do like one take of a scene. The, the Social Network, which you showed before, that director, David Fincher, he does 100 takes. You do the scene 100 times. Like, it, there's a scene where like, uh, you know, you're walking into a bedroom, a little tiny, no acting scene. You walk in there 100 times. So they have this, they schedule the day for you to walk into the room. Woody Allen, a scene like that, we filmed in like two hours. And you can see there's many shots, many cuts. It's, a very long scene. We shot that in like two hours and then we go home for lunch. And, and so, um, as an actor, it doesn't feel like the most like lived in, you know, uh, you know, deep experience because it's so quick. Um, but as like a kind of, um, as like a humor and, and kind of storytelling and characters, it very, very much spoke to me.